12 seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but that many watts was, woo! That's like the shot of tequila. You take it, you rip it, you're like, woo, got a little buzz. Mm. I was thinking about this, I'm like, you know what? Cream cheese has basically no nutritional value other than it just tastes good. This though, good fats, protein, and it kind of makes you thirsty when you're eating and it's important to have a lot of water in the morning. So there you go. Uh, one hour easy ride today and then a swim, which eh. also got like mad construction going on upstairs. They're putting a new roof on. It's been the most annoying thing for the past week. I'm like, you guys done yet? I'm like, yeah. I said that three days ago. And then I just asked them again, you guys done yet? Yeah. That's yeah, a little more. Anyways, I don't want to complain. There's worse things in life than having a new roof put on, which is helping me. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding. I'm gonna get fitted for a bike. I'm getting a new bike. So if anyone wants a specialized with wheels on it, carbon wheels, holler, I can ship. And I'm giving a good price. So let me know if you want a bike. Comment below, DM me on Instagram or comment bike. 23 minutes in, 116 heart rate, 190 watts. I got a big workout on tap tomorrow. There's something about biking indoors with just no fans. I know everyone's like, oh, get a fan. I'm all right. I kind of like the heat training aspect of it all. all. I've always done this. I've always just, I've never been a fan of fans. No point intended, <laughs> but I feel like it's prepping me for Chattanooga. I just did this effort. Fuck me. Fucking bibs. Let me catch my breath. Fuck. That was the second time I did it. I think I averaged like over 800 watts for the 12 second sprint. 12 seconds doesn't sound like a lot, but that many watts was, woo, tough. Saw lid. Question is, what am I gonna swim? Oh, I don't wanna swim. No, that's all right. The hardest part is just like getting to the pool. You know, I never want to go to the pool. And then once you're in the water, you're swimming. As long as you feel good, you're like, ah, this ain't so bad. Consistency. Okay. Maybe this will be called upgrades. I was talking to my friend Gage and he was talking about, he said something really interesting. He goes, you know, everything that you want, you already have in life, you just want upgrades. So like you want a bigger apartment, you want a nicer bike, etc. And then we got into the topic. I was thinking about when I posted a video talking about this place in Carlsbad, I'm like moving into my dream home. It's all perspective. Now, three years later, fast forward, I'm still stoked with where I'm at, but you do think sometimes you're like, oh, I want a bigger place. Why? No thing, no one is gonna make you happy. That comes from within, you know what I mean? You gotta do the work on yourself in order to be comfortable by being alone and being happy with what you have. So I guess the moral is don't always look for upgrades in life. Why don't you look within, do the work within because chasing after all these things is never gonna make you stoked. Maybe for a little bit, but not long-term. That comes from within. And that's what's priceless. That's what people can't take from you. I'm not saying don't chase after big goals. I have big goals. I want a really nice house. I want to build a big business. I want to build this. Youth. There's all sorts of things that I want to do, but I know that's not what makes me happy. That's quick. That's like the shot of tequila. You take it, you rip it. You're like, Ooh, got a little buzz and then it's gone. <clears throat> so you wake up the next morning and you realize, damn, I'm still the same person. You got to become better. If that made any sense at all, I'm going to get my sandwich. <laughs> Board and brew. Classic. Tub of tuna with pepperoncinis. I hate saying it when they say, what do you want? I'm like, tuna? They're like, tub of tuna? I'm like, yeah, tub of tuna. Your diet looks like shit. You guys want to know what I eat on a day in literally less than, in less than 15 seconds? I hate this light. Number one, bagel with cream cheese or peanut butter and a coffee. Number two, I have nutrition during... Uh, my bike ride, number three, I'll try to have a protein shake, strawberries, bananas, all that. Number four, board and brew sub with a bag of chips. This is tuna. And then number five, and of course, 
It's my favorite, Chipotle. And that's it. If you wanna eat the whole sandwich, eat the whole sandwich. You don't need to save half, just eat it. Stop thinking about it. Who even cares? You know what I mean? Woo! I'm just a walking billboard for Everyman Jack, as you can tell. <laughs> Peel off the top layer. What do I got underneath? The bottom layer. Health. Get this sauce attack on there, boom. I don't even know what's in that. Just soaking wet all over. It won't stop dripping. What a joke. So it's still coming down. This thing is leaking like gnarly. Uh, my place is flooded. I got a bike ride today. Big, long bike ride. I was supposed to do it outside, but it's pouring rain also. We got a little cold plunge action going in here. Not really. I got an early leak in my roof ceiling. I don't know if you can see that. Got to get on the bike. Landlord's coming over right now to check the place out to uh, assess the damage. And I'm pretty sure I'm going to be like displaced for a while because there's probably gnarly mold and stuff that's going to be formed in here. And apparently they're going to have to cut through the drywall to get this place dry and bring heaters in and blah, blah, blah. But... Fuck it. Oh! Mm -hmm. Got the new tri suit on. Thousand feet climb so far. Woo! Dude, now I have a run off the bike. Why is the light on? This thing's like building up. That's water. I think I'm gonna check into an Airbnb. Well, that workout's done. I'll put them here. Boom and boom. There it is, those are my workouts. I'll keep them like there, boom, look at that. Not bad, huh? Pretty solid day. I will say, you know, Zwift, miles are always gonna be harder. It is just so tough on Zwift. I mean, three hours, I would say, is equivalent to five hours outside, just based on how exhausted I feel after a Zwift session, but it's good. And I also sweat buckets too, because I don't have fans. All right, well, I'm gonna wait for this leak to hopefully subside, which doesn't look like, if anything, it looks like it's getting worse, but what can you do? Doing a little staycation, is that what they call it? Good, I even got my own jacuzzi right there. I'll give you a little tour. It's kind of cool. Oh light i don't know what that is down there bed look at that nice little kitchen huh living area tv and then the jacuzzi my own little nook love that time to eat chipotle and chill